Now in this last part of the question, we're given our equation then, g of x, where x is greater than or equal to 5, and asked to find the inverse of g, and also to state its domain. Now when it comes to working out the inverse function, what I like to do is just say let x equal, and wherever there's an x in the equation, just change it to a y. So we've got 2y plus 5 all over y minus 3. And what we're going to do now is just make y the subject. And what I can do then is just multiply both sides through by y minus 3. So we're going to get x times all of y minus 3, and that's going to give me xy minus 3x, and that's going to leave me with 2y plus 5. Okay? Now, all I need to do is group the terms containing a y to one side, and I'm going to add the 3x to the other side. So let's subtract the 2y from both sides. And I'm also going to imagine pulling out y then as a common factor. So we've got y multiplied with the x here, and then we've got minus 2y, so put minus 2 there, and that's going to equal the 3x plus the 5. Okay, so all I did there was just add 3x to both sides and subtract 2y from both sides. Next, I'm just going to divide both sides then by x minus 2, and that's going to give me 3x plus 5 then all over x minus 2. And now that I've got what y is, I can replace that y with the inverse function of g. g to the minus 1 of x, okay, as I call it. And that's going to be then 3x plus 5, if we just copy that back down, 3x plus 5 all over x minus 2. And next then, we have got to work out the domain of the inverse of g of x. Now to do this, you should realise that the domain of this inverse function is in fact the range of g of x. And we worked this out in the earlier part of the question. If you're unsure of this, I've got it in tutorials, but essentially it's based on this idea, that if you have the graph, in this case of g of x, which we worked out in the previous part of the question, then if we reflect this in the graph y equals x, this diagonal here, then this asymptote here becomes a vertical asymptote. And if I draw that in, that asymptote is x equals 2. And we reflect this graph here in y equals x, and you're going to get this image here. So, you'll see that the 7.5 that we had here ends here on the green graph, okay, of the inverse of g of x, and it approaches this asymptote here. So, when it comes to that domain, can you see that the domain now goes from x is greater than 2, but less than or equal to 7.5. If I just put that in there, that's your answer. And you can see it's exactly the same as what we had for the range of g of x. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea on that question, if it was causing any problem. So thanks for watching, and uh, if you need any help in any other questions, hopefully I'll chat to you later.